This is the best time of year for serious movie buffs. The Hollywood Awards season over the next few weeks, the studios will deliver a wide range of films, mostly dramas, aimed at Oscar voters and other movie and media professionals. So let's get a look at some of them here to tell us about this year's field is Fandango managing editor Eric Davis. Eric, good morning. Good morning. This actually looks like a pretty exciting crop of films coming up here. Yeah, it's a good year. It's the opposite of last year. No hashtag Oscars so white this year. We have multiple films with diverse ensembles yeah. that highlight people of color. I think every movie we're going to talk about today should be nominated for Best Picture. Many of them, if not all of them, will be. Okay, so let's start at the top of the list. First up is Silence. Marty yes. Scorsese's Scorsese, am I saying that correctly? Yes. See, this passion is, project. This is a right? film he's wanted to make for 30 years. It's definitely a passion project that follows two 17th century Jesuit priests played by Andrew Garfield and Adam Driver, who we see here, who are traveling through Japan, spreading Christianity, looking for their missing mentor. Not the sexiest of plot descriptions, but this is a film he's wanted to make for decades. That means we're going to get the best of Martin Scorsese as a filmmaker. And if we get the best of him as a filmmaker. It's one of the best films of the year, no doubt. Trailer, very intense, the trailer. And two great actors. Yes. Two very great much actors. having a moment. Exactly. All right, next up, Fences, which comes from the Pulitzer Prize winning play, directed and starring Denzel Washington. Yes, who played this character on the stage as well. This is uh, African-American family, late 1950s, the evolving relationships between a father and a son, a husband and a wife. You know, Denzel Washington and Viola Davis are so good in this film. We're not just talking about two of the best performances of the year. I think these are two of the best performances of the last 20 years. Wow. Yes, I think they both won Tony Awards for playing these characters on the stage. They're both going to win Oscars for playing these characters on the big screen. Lock it in. You heard it here. Wow. Take it to the races. Yeah. Wow. All right, Eric. Also on this list is one of my favorite movies of the year, Moonlight by Barry Jenkins. Yes. An incredibly moving, but a smaller film. Smaller film. Well, we always see these kind of low-budget underdogs sneak their way into the awards conversation. This year, it's Moonlight, a very touching, poignant, three-part story, a coming of age of about an African-American boy who's sort of grappling with his sexuality amidst a world of drug dealers and gangbangers. And we've seen movies that are set in this world before, but nothing quite from totally. this point of view. Each part feels feels like its own experience. It is soulful. It is melancholy. It is masterfully directed by this man named Barry Jenkins, who I think is going to go on to some great things after this movie nabs a ton of nominations. Already got six Independent, independent Spirit Award nominations mm. the other day, so it's on its way. Our next contender, Manchester by the Sea, Casey Affleck, Michelle Williams. Yeah, move over Ben Affleck. Make some room for the other <laughs> Affleck <laughs> brother. <laughs> Casey Affleck is tremendous in this film about a man who returns to his hometown uh, to kind of... Make, take care of the affairs of his brother after he passes away suddenly. Uh, take care of his nephew, played by Lucas Hedges, who we see. Uh, he may go on to be uh, nominated as well. Lucas Hedges is really good in this film. This is a gut punch of a movie. It's going to hurt a little bit. Bring the tissues. But you know what? It is, it is so real. It feels like you're peeking in and spying on this family. Incredible performances all around. I think it's going to be a big time nomination. I'm here. sure we're going to hear that Affleck, Massachusetts Affleck. accent. Too. Oh, yes. Um, okay, Hidden Figures is the true untold story of three African American women who are mathematicians yes. 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 in the 60s. For, working for NASA. This is the meat and potatoes of the space race when America's trying to beat Russia into space, beat them to the moon. And these women were integral parts of that. And this is during segregation. So they have tons of obstacles to deal with. Octavia Spencer. Uh, Janelle Ma Ma Marie and Taraji P. Henson. Excellent in the I film. love Taraji P. Henson. She's great. You know, this is, I think, one of the best uh, crowd pleasers of the year. And never underestimate a crowd pleaser, because those are usually the movies that win Best Picture. Yep. And I think this is one of the best ones. La La Land as well. All right. Uh? Well, you broke that up. I'm most intrigued by this <laughs> film, because we, an old school Hollywood musical? Yes. Old school, but also new school. This is a movie musical from director Damien Chazelle, who did Whiplash yep. a couple of years back. And it is just tremendous. This is my favorite movie of the year. Ryan Gosling, ah, Emma wow. Stone. Okay, yes. Comes out. Comes out. They play aspiring artists who fall in love. He is a jazz pianist. She is an actress. What happens when one of you becomes more successful than the other? This is just a beautiful love letter to Los Angeles, to any kind of art that's produced on a stage, be it a jazz set, a musical, a movie. Just one of the, the most delightfully compelling experiences you will have at a movie theater this wow. year. Wow. Please. Okay. Big talk. Amazing chemistry with those two. Okay, Lion and Jackie. 
Tell yes. us about those two. Well, Lion, fascinating real life story about a little boy from India who gets lost when he's going to look for work with his brother, gets lost for years. Eventually, he's adopted by an Australian couple. And then as an adult, he uses Google Earth to try to find his family. Again, I met the, the, the real life guy, this guy named Saru. He's a great guy, compelling film, powerful ending. And Jackie, Natalie Portman. It's just phenomenal. You're in kind this of ending film. it there, Jen, Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman, <laughs> phenomenal. <laughs> Full stop. Natalie Full stop. Portman. It's all about Natalie Portman. I think she's a front runner for best actress as the former first lady, Jackie Kennedy. And you know what? In this film, she shows a Jackie Kennedy hours and days, immediate hours and days after President Kennedy's assassination, a Jackie Kennedy who's standing tall despite everything, her entire life crumbling around her. And here she is taking ownership over her family's legacy. I think Portman is extraordinary in this film. Good film, not a great film. Great Boom. performance from Natalie Portman. A caveat, Eric, yes. I'm going to be sitting in the dark pounding popcorn <laughs> through the rest of the year. Thank you for your time. You've given me a long list, Eric. Yes. It's a long list.